Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. On today's video, I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for the month of November. I cannot believe that the year is almost over. And I know this might seem a little unconventional, but I decided to actually do this theme based on TV because all of my TV shows are finally coming back and you have no idea how excited I am. So instead of doing the typical Thanksgiving or like leaves and just you know just november things i decided to do a tv based on a sticker that i have it is the cutest and you're going to see it a little later on of course my drawing does not even compare to how cute the sticker is but i gave it a try And of course, it wouldn't be a Sam theme if I didn't include some sort of panda on it. And yes, you heard it right. This TV is a panda. And it was all inspired by the sticker by Paper Kumako. I'm actually going to be uploading a haul from them on Monday. So you can look out for that one. Now looking back to this video, I feel like I could have used a different marker for this section. I always end up grabbing my Crayola Super Tips because I don't know why. I just always grab them first and then I end up not liking how they look. So then I decided to use this instead. You're going to see a little bit later on that I end up coloring way more than what you see right now. But I feel like this could have been better for the darker purple. But you know, it is already done, can't do anything right now. And I just went ahead and added a couple more TVs just to fill up the page. I try to make sure to not make them look too perfect. And I somehow ended up adding these little splashes of paint, kind of. If you have seen all my bullet journal videos, there's a spread that I did already with kind of like this figures. I don't know why, but I started doing it on this one. And of course, I had to add my washi tape inspired by film. It just all ties together. I added a couple of dots and then I moved on to doing the left part. Because I don't really plan the theme before I start doing it, I completely missed that perfect opportunity to put episode 11 out of 12 or season 11 out of 12. I ended up doing chapter. I'm honestly so upset at myself for doing this. But if you happen to recreate this spread, please make sure you put season or episode. Please do it for me. And for some reason, I just randomly thought of this quote that my coworker always says. She always says this, it's tea time. So then I thought of adding, it's TV time. And now it's time to set up my weekly spread. I actually wanted to do something before starting with the week. I added the title and the calendar as always, but I also wanted to include when my TV shows come back right at the beginning. So I don't have to be like swiping the pages when I'm looking for it. I mean, it's not like I don't have it in my calendar or my phone already, but I just wanted to add it here anyways. And yes, more Panda TVs, I just had to. And here's the list of my TV shows that are coming back. I don't know if there are any other ones. I mean, I know that Superstore 
comes back like the last week of October but to be honest I just don't think it's as good as it was at the beginning so I kind of abandon it but these are the shows that I'm super obsessed with and I just cannot wait to watch I added more of those odd shapes and then for the right part I was kind of going back and forth between what to add in here and then I decided that it would be fun to have a Black Friday deal spread so I can keep track of things that I want to maybe purchase or save for and I didn't fill it out with anything yet because I haven't really done any research but I just wanted to have the space for it already set up. And now it's time to finally set up my weekly spread. I cannot believe I did this, honestly. I am the type of person that has always used a ruler to do this part. I mean, I'm not pretty sure if I include them on the crepes, but I always use a ruler. I always do some sort of pencil tracing. But for this month, I just decided to freehand all the spaces and I wanted to make sure they weren't all the same size or they were even. I don't know why I did that, but if I'm triggering your OCD, I am very, very sorry. You can skip this part. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention, do you catch the sticker on the last bread? I think it's so cute. Also, I was super satisfied with the month starting on Sunday because then I could have the seven squares on the left, the seven squares on the right. It just made me very happy. And then at the bottom, I wanted to add videos of the week because if you haven't noticed, I've been uploading videos twice a week. So I wanted to just keep tracking here on what videos will be uploading each week. So I added that little category on the bottom. I'm probably going to use it for this week and the following because... I mean, it's only two videos a week. I have enough space in there. And then on the right part, I just repeated the same thing. I just had to make sure it wasn't the same order as the last one because I wanted it to be more like freehand. And here's everything we created together. If you enjoy watching this video, please make sure you hit the like button and you share this video with a friend. Also, leave me a comment telling me what TV show you're watching. Maybe I haven't seen it and I can check it out. Anyways, I'll see you on my next video on Monday.